on the backstretch. Caution flag out. 16 laps in, nine laps to go. The whole entire force for the race, the one of Pat Stanley and the 911, and Jim Goki have been side by side. Leave for Goki, he may be losing his golf clubs here shortly. He's out of the car, get up her pack, Stanley! Take the tape off your ear! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta get the tape off your ear. Pack it here. It's been a while since you've been down in Victory Lane. How does it feel? Oh, I was beginning to wonder if I was gonna get back in here again. That was a great battle between you and Jim Goki. Tell us about it. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I'll, there are so many guys out here, I mean, I just have no problem racing side by side. And, you know, you don't have to worry about doing something erratic or nothing. I mean, it's just great to race with all these guys out here. Frank, who do you want to thank to help make this possible for you? My wife and my daughter, Stephanie. Dale. And my brother and Dale and <laughs> everyone. And, of course, uh, Extreme Trucking, SL and H Metals and Racer Girl Graphics. and Phantom Cat. Huh? Phantom Cat. Cat Motorsports. <laughs> all right, congratulations to your feature winner, Pat Stanley. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pat Stanley. I drive the number one viewer stock. Um, just won the feature winner tonight. And I'd like to thank Extreme Trucking and Racer Girl Graphics and SHL Metals and my wife and kids. Ran pretty good, huh? Yes, very good. We had some issues the last couple weeks, but we got everything straightened out. And we're good to go. Wouldn't know it by looking at it. It's a great looking <laughs> car over last year. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we did a lot of work to it over the winter. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier quite a bit. It looks yes. great. Yes. Thank you. It handles pretty good. No, no serious issues or. Well, there was last week. I mean, we did some changes, and obviously we figured out what we got to do. So. Now, do you prefer to run one line or the other? I, you know, you, you get the Luckhurst groove. It's not like you know what? you choose one over the other. Last year it used to be the high line, but now we got it to where the car can run at the top and the bottom. So. I guess that's how you do it, huh? Yes. <laughs> Win a feature, yeah. So no real gremlins. No, hopefully not anymore. <laughs> the car didn't change too much over, uh, we had a pretty good run there. For yeah, a while. It, it just got a little loose, but other than that. Hot we, tires will do that. Yes, we overcame all that and pulled it off. Now, where were you when they went off the backstretch? You were in front of that all that, weren't you? I was, like, right next to him. Really? 
or actually a little little ways back, maybe a car half a car length back or something. So I thought maybe he was going to come back on and maybe take me out. But, you know, what can I do? <laughs> you you had an off track run there too, off the back stretch. Wouldn't yeah, I'm good at that. I mean, things that happen every race. Wouldn't know. I kept your place. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your feature win. All right, thank you. How you doing? I'm Jim Goki. I drive the 911 car. It's a cop car. <laughs> got, a si got a siren and everything. Huh? Got a siren. Got got the light. Kids really like it. It's a pretty cool little thing to have. Something look a little different. Ran pretty good tonight. Any any handling issues or? Yeah, it was loose, but uh, nothing we can't work on and get it get a little bit tighter. Um, no. It was excellent racing, door to door. That's what racing's supposed to be all about. Where were you when they went off the back stretch? They must have been behind me, because <laughs> when I come back around, I seen a whole bunch of stuff on the other end. Yeah, Chris Foby was making fun of you, your the police escort for the field at that restart. Oh, yeah. Do you prefer one line over the other? Or is that pretty much where the car lets you? It likes to be on the top right now. The way it's handling right now, I'm on the top side. It seems to be a little bit better. On the bottom, it seems to be a little bit worse. It's got to go where the car wants you to go. So what do you think of the Owasso option? I love it. It's the best thing they've ever done. I think it's cool because the guy in the back gets to come up to the front and have a chance. If you do a single file, the guy in the back always stays in the back. So I think that's a great, great thing. It gives the guy a chance to choose for the handling on his car too. Huh? Right. Well, it gives him another shot because I've been in the back and it's, you're racing just as hard at the back as you are at the front. So at least if you get up next to him, you got a little bit more of a chance. So you're pretty happy with your third place finish. Yeah. Yep, yep, that was, I won the heat race and I took third in the feature. That's right, you did win a heat race, yeah. yeah. Yep. And this is only, the last two weeks ago I brought it out for the first night. This is the second night out with it. Pretty good. Can't Happy. complain, huh? Can't complaining today. Well, congratulations on your third place finish. Thank you. I'm Russ Cords, driver of the number 27 Pier Stock here at Owasso. I'd like to thank uh, Howard Excavating, MR Green and Sons Excavating, I'm sorry, MR Green and Sons Landscape and Excavating, uh, Binkley Processing. I'm co owner of the Pier Stock. Todd Binkley is the uh, other half of this. The plans were to run every other weekend when I'm off. Uh, my partner has not been able to get in the car yet, so we'll see how everything is going to go. See how it goes, huh? Running pretty good in both cars, though, really. You won last, last week's feature. Won well, last week's feature in this, our first feature. We're working a little, we're working uh, on the late model. Got a little work to do. Okay. But, hey, not doing too bad. Third place finish, not too bad. How's the car run? Not too bad. Still a lot of work to be done. We bought this car. Uh, we have not, we've changed a lot of stuff. Um, did not like the way it drove when I bought it. So we're working on it. It's getting better and better. We finished in the top three now every week that we've had it out. So we're moving forward. Now, what's the other class? It's a mod? Pro late mod. Pro late, okay. Yep. Okay. Now, explain to me your night when you run two cars and they run them back to back. Who, you drop it off in the chute and jump in the other car, somebody take it back, or are you just hauling? I do. I do. I'm screaming what I want done to that car that I'm jumping out of while I'm getting into the next one. While I'm racing, I'm thinking about the other car. It's kind of tough. I don't get to spend as much time and check the things that need to be checked, but uh, it's working out all right. I got a lot of good guys, a lot of good crew guys that help me. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many, how many guys usually come with you? You got two cars, you got five, six guys, or is it? 25. <laughs> I have three, three, four guys, and Leo Smith is always right there to lend a helping hand, too, and all his guys. So between the two of us, we got five, six, seven guys that are here religiously. So, so this is the car you're pretty much, you got a little bit more work to go on? And yeah, we do. What's your primary cars? ride, basically? What do, you, what do you consider your primary ride? Uh, late model, for sure. Late model. This was just going to be a part-time deal. I really liked watching the pier stocks. They were actually an awesome class to watch, good racing. That's why I went out and bought one. Just to have fun and be a part of it. Running good. I mean, how'd the car run tonight? I mean, good. We started ninth. We won. The invert was a nine, so we had to start from back there. And I just tried to take my time to get up there. I mean, it was. I caught some breaks, 
we needed a few more, but when you start that deep in the field and you got some guys, this top five, six guys in the pier stock, I tell you what, tough, tough, tough. So. Yeah. yeah, it's always been really competitive. Does this car let you run one groove over the other? Do you prefer one over the other? You know, I tried the high side tonight and the car didn't like it. I mean, I run, I had to run the low side and I had to change my driving style. And with a little five to go, the car got really good and adapted to what I was given it. So, yeah. We were sitting six for a long time and made it to four, side by side for third, coming to the checkered flag. We just fell a little short. Well, now we're here. So, happy. yeah. You you won last week. We'll put some highlights in there. We'll show the people what you did last week. Absolutely. Congratulations. By default, but hey, third place is third place. Hey, we'll take it. Yeah. Congratulations. Take care.